there comes a time in literally every relationship where you're going to reach a conflict. How you handle that conflict can greatly determine the outcome of that relationship. Hi everybody, welcome back to Not Your Average Glow Up. My name is Samantha. This is a safe place where we come and we talk all things mental health. Today's topic is going to be about healthy conflict resolution. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. Today is Mental Health Monday where we come and we talk about a random mental health topic. Um, this Thursday, I'm going to be uploading my very first tarot pick a card video. It is going to be three piles and the topic is going to be trauma that still needs healing. So if you'd be interested in that sort of thing, go ahead and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, because this Thursday will be my first tarot pick a card on this channel. If you are interested in booking a personal reading, you can go to my website on Facebook. It is not your average tarot. Just go ahead and message me on there. I'll be happy to do a personal reading for you. All right, so let's begin. I've recently been going to therapy. Um, I talked about that in my last video. It's been quite helpful in a lot of ways um, for me personally and for just general relationship stuff. And because relationships and romance, but even just this is literally for any sort of relationship. Um, because it's so important to me, I feel like I really just want to take you guys along on this journey and the things that I'm learning to help aid you in having healthier relationships. Because I know if you are anything like me, relationships can be tricky. So, something that I've learned recently in my um, therapy sessions is communication. Uh, Dakota and I have been in a relationship for eight years. It's been a rocky one. It's been a difficult one. And one of our biggest issues in our relationship is communication. Both of us are talkers. We, um, he's more extroverted. I'm more introverted, but once you get me talking, it's hard to get me to shut up. Um, so we're both big talkers. But I swear, sometimes it feels like we're talking in completely different languages. We, um, we, we have a, we say a lot, but really we're not saying a lot. It's like, um, we're trying to get the last word and instead of, you know, saying something meaningful. So that was last week's subject for us was healthy communication healthy communication. Um, our therapist asked us if there was one thing that we really needed from the other person in order to save our relationship, what would that be? And instantly out of my mouth was, I want our arguments or our fights to be constructive. I want to learn to communicate in a way where we're fighting for each other and not against each other. She's like, gotcha, bro. So we learned this totally awesome trick called drive-through talking. And that is what I want to share with you today. Um, I'm holding a crystal that I bought the other day. I don't know why, but I've just been like holding this as a palm stone recently. And it just really just, I don't know, it helps me. So yeah, if you'd like to see it, it's so pretty. I don't know how to explain it. It is just lovely. So if you see me fidgeting, that's what I'm doing. I'm holding this. I'm very hyped up on coffee today. So if I seem a little bit more um, antsy, that's why. Lots of caffeine. I'm sensitive to caffeine, but it's delicious. And to us. So if you're like me, and you have a lot to say, but it never comes out right, 
or when you get into a fight, you got to get that last word in, or you have to be right, or you find yourself constantly overanalyzing or thinking about what you're going to say next. And, and then it's like you, you tune in and out of the conversation and just, it just never seems to go right. Like you want to communicate how you feel, but then when you communicate how you feel, it seems it made things worse. If you're like me, let me tell you this little lovely thing called drive through talking because I'm telling you it works and it's easy. Think about going through a drive through and placing your order at fast food restaurant, okay? So when you order your food, you're like, hey, I would like a such and such, such and such, um, upsize that to a large and do this and blah, 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 blah. Then the person taking your order repeats back to you said order. So they say, okay, that was a such and such, such and such, upsize that, blah, blah, blah. At that point, you then can either correct them if they've missed something, or you confirm that that is in fact what you said. When you are having a conversation with somebody, especially when it's a conflict, this is so incredibly important, okay? And I'm telling you, it works. We've watched it work over the last week. It's made a huge difference for us. Oftentimes, our brain starts going and going when we're thinking about what needs to be said next. We're thinking about and overanalyzing what we just said, did that person get that, this, that, and the other. So I'm gonna give you an example of a conversation. This is a hypothetical com conversation, okay? So say I am arguing with um, uh, my husband, I'm not married, but I, I've been in a relationship for the last eight years. So say uh, I'm in a conversation and I feel as though my spouse has been really pissy lately and he's taking his anger out on me being short and snappy and what have you what have you and i want to communicate that to him i'm going to give you conversation a and then conversation b and show you the difference okay so conversation a goes like this what is your issue you've been so grumpy lately and I just, I, I, I can't fucking take it anymore. I need you to talk to me like I'm an adult, not like a child. I don't care what's going on with you, but how you talk to me is your thing. And then he's like, what is your problem? Nothing's even wrong with me. I'm stressed out about this, this, and this. Not everything's about you, blah, 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 blah. Oh, so now everything's about me. And next thing you know, a simple request to talk to you in a kinder manner turns into this big old thing and you're in a big argument, okay? Let me give you an example of drive through talking, okay? So first thing that you wanna do is you wanna establish that you're on the same page and you're wanting to practice drive through talking. So first thing you need to do is say, hey, there's something I'd really like to talk to you about. Are you in a good place to talk right now? If they say no, Give them some space, let them cool off, and then try to come to them later and say, hey, when you're ready to talk, let's talk drive through style. And they're like, oh yeah, okay, we can do that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's a little cheesy, but I'm telling you it works, okay? So they might need to go take a breather for a second, whatever, and then they come back and they say, all right, drive through. And then you say, first of all, banish you you're not saying you do this and blah, blah, blah. Banish always. You always are such a jerk to me and you always do this. And, and then banish never. You never do this, okay? Delete that from the conversation because that instantly sets a tone of the pers other being person being attacked and then they're going to get defensive and it's just going to go downhill from there, okay? You want to keep your... Um, your sentence is focused as on yourself. So it's, I feel, I, um, I heard, I felt, I think, okay? I statements, not you statements, okay? So, conversation number, conversation number, conversation B. 
Hey love, um, there's something that's really been bothering me and I've been wanting to talk to you about it. Are you in a good place to talk right now? And then they may or may not say, yeah, I can talk or no, nah, give me a second. I'm, I need to go chill out for a little bit first, okay? You need to respect that, okay? Because the whole point of having constructive conflict is not to get the last word in and to win, it's to resolve the conflict at hand, okay? So then he comes back and you establish you want to practice drive through talking because it is something that needs to be practiced. Eventually, you start speaking this way um, out of habit and you don't have to establish that you're doing drive through talking, okay? It just comes naturally after a while. But at the beginning, you're gonna establish what drive through talking is and that you wanna practice it, okay? So, all right, drive through style, be like, yeah, drive through style. All right, so I've been feeling, and you take turns, okay? So you say your order, just like you're going on the drive through line, so how you feel, you're not focusing on them, you focus on you, how you feel, okay? So you say, hey babe, I've been feeling lately like there is something going on with you that I can't quite put my foot on and it's really bothering me because um, I've been feeling like you're taking your anger out on me and I don't know if there's something going on between us or if there's a, another issue and I'm not sure exactly how to talk to you about it and um, I just want to make sure that we're okay. Then he's going to wait or she is gonna wait for you to pause and they're gonna say, okay, so what I'm hearing is, okay, that's that's the, so you, you place your order and then they repeat back the order. See, this isn't about like thinking of the response. He's not gonna go, oh, so now I'm doing this, blah, 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 and think of his like quick response. He's first gonna repeat back what you said. So he's gonna say, so what I'm hearing from you is that you believe that I um, am taking my anger on, on, on you because I've been a little off lately and um, you're not exactly sure why and you're trying to figure out what's wrong with me and how you can help me through that. Is that correct? So you want to place the order, you want to have the other person repeat back the order and then confirm that that is correct. If they got the conversation off a little bit, this is your, your chance to say, well, yes, kind of, but also I really just want to make sure that everything's okay and that the issue that you seem to be having isn't about us, it's about something else. If it is about us, I'd like to fix that, okay? And then they would say, okay, so what's going on with me is um, I'm having trouble at work, my uh, co-worker is, you know, doing this and that, and the job's getting fucked up, and now we have an extra day, and blah, 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 blah. Then you repeat back to them what they said. So then you would say, so what I heard was, and then you repeat back exactly what they said, you're having trouble with your co-worker at work, and this, that, and the other, and it's really got you stressed out, and finances are behind, and this, that, and the other. Is that correct? And then when they confirm that that is correct, then you can talk about how to resolve that. Well, I'm really glad that you told me this. I um, It really bothers me when you're stressing. And if I can help you with uh, some of your stress or whatever, I would love to do that. If not, just know that I'm here for you for emotional support, yada, 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 so on and so forth. So you can sit down, you can come up with a plan to resolve that conflict or you can, um, you know, just be the emotional support person that that person might be needing at that time. Guys, I know this seems like cheesy, but I'm telling you, it really works. Because when you're somebody like me who struggles with anxiety and depression, and you're highly sensitive like I am, I pick up on the smallest little physical cues from the people around me. I pick up on their body language, I pick up on um, their posture, their eye contact, the tone of the voice, everything. So I always know when something's off with the people around me, whether it's friend, whether it's parent, whether it's my spouse, whether it's my kids, I can tell when something's off. So if 
I can't figure out how to communicate with them about what's going on, it drives me nuts. And then because I have bad anxiety and I struggle with depression and low self-esteem, if I don't talk to them about it in a healthy way and figure out what the problem actually is, my brain automatically goes to, it's my fault. I made them mad. I did this. I did this, And then I freak out. Okay. Okay. I told you this is a mental health channel. I never promised you that I was completely and totally sane. Okay. I'm not. Also, random side note. I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video. I just took a shower so my hair is wet. So just ignore that. Okay. But yes, that is drive through talking. So quick recap, drive through talking. The easiest way to remember it is you pretend like you're going through drive through You say your order, they repeat back your order, um, they confirm the order, and then the order is placed, okay? And then you do that in response, okay? That is it. That is simple, quick. You don't have to physically say, hey, we're going to practice drive through talking once you practiced it a few times. But first starting off, I definitely think it would be beneficial to say, hey, drive through talking. So that way that person knows that you're here to get shit accomplished, okay? Okay. So that is what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. It's pretty easy. I mean, I just wanna talk a little bit about different types of conflict that you might have in your life because I'm the type of, this isn't just for romantic relationships. You can use this with your kids. You can use this with your parents, with your friends, whatever. You're gonna, there comes a time in every single relationship where you're not always gonna see eye to eye. Even if that person's your soulmate, even if you are very similar in the way you think, and the way you talk, there comes a time when you're gonna reach a conflict. Everybody disagrees about something. How you handle that conflict can completely and totally determine the outcome of that relationship. I've always been very passive. I'm a little bit of a people pleaser. I bottle things up until I explode and I'm like a fucking Coke bottle because it's like, I just bottle it up. But like people have also shoved cementos down in there and it's like eating me up and it's fizzing. And next thing you know, I'm just gonna fucking combust, okay? That's not healthy. So learning healthy conflict resolution can greatly help keep relationships. Now, if you are in a toxic or abusive relationship, this might help a little bit, but honestly, toxic and abusive people aren't going to want to practice constructive conflict. They're just wanting the conflict. Um, so in those cases, it's better just to distance yourself. But any healthy relationship that you have, the goal should be within the relationship when you get into a fight is to fight for the relationship, not fight each other. You're not there. You're not arguing because you hate that person and you, you know, you just want to win. You just want to get the last word in. That might feel good in the moment, but you're going to leave that situation feeling like shit. Okay. You're there to fight against the conflict at hand. And that is the most important thing to keep in mind when you are having a quote unquote argument or you're having um, a conflict with somebody that you care about. You gotta remember that the battle is not the person sitting in front of you. The battle is a conflict at hand, no matter what it is. So that's today's lesson. I want to pull some tarot cards for you guys. Like I said before, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, my business page is on Facebook. You type in the search bar, not your average tarot. And um, yeah, I'll be happy to do a private reading with you. My private readings are a lot more detailed, a lot more personal. Um, they kind of feel like a counseling session, but it's a little bit more like talking to a close friend. I give you a lot of advice, whether or not you take that advice is completely and totally up to you, but I kind of help see the problem at hand and help you solve the problem at hand. So if you'd like to book a personal reading, all of my prices and everything are on my page. I first want to see what the viewers at home might need to communicate. Hmm. Oh, okay. Somebody 
at home, I'm getting a message that somebody watching this video really has a rat amongst them. Um, hmm, this is a strange message and this isn't necessarily the meaning of this card by the book. This is just what I'm um, picking up in the moment. Somebody has a rat that is um, behind the scenes um, doing some manipulating, doing some sneaking, um, doing a little bit of tattling, kind of just like ratting, ratting you out. Somebody has somebody behind the scenes that is not a cozy little friend, they are a rat. Um, and I'm getting this energy of hoarding money. So they're out for personal gain, this person. Um... I don't like this energy at all. Okay. Yeah, this person is really, they're out for personal gain and they are really manipulating things behind the scenes. So look out for that. I'm going to get, hold on, I'm going to get my moonology cards and see if I can get a little bit more clarification on this situation. Any more for this person? Maybe this is a very specific message. I don't know who needs to hear this, but please know that um, this just serves as a warning. Something that needs definitely conflict. We're talking about conflict, so this is a conflict that needs to be had. Conversation that needs to be confronted. Do you have any additional information? Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh yeah. The Taurus card was upside down. So this person is really screwing with finances. This has something to do with finances. Don't let your past hold you back. Mm, they might be using your past against you in some way. Okay. Personal issue reaches resolution, but it's in reverse. So, hmm. It's also mother energy. So this person is really, they're using your past against you in some way. And it has something to do with finances and greed. And I don't know why, but this Cancer card is telling me that maybe it has to do with your mother and an issue with your mother. Like maybe that's what they're using against you. Your past conflict is maybe an issue with your mother. Yeah, this is a conversation that desperately needs to be had. Wow, okay. Well, I hope that was helpful to whoever's message this is. If uh, that message resonated with you, I would really like to do a personal reading with you to see if I can help you solve that situation because that was a a um hmm that was not a fun reading okay so I definitely would like to do a longer more in-depth personal reading and see if I can help you with that let me get a message for the collective <laughs> okay different is there anybody else out there that has situation that they need to confront. What are they not confronting? What do they need to have a healthy conversation about? The answers you are needing are coming full moon in Gemini. Okay. I think it's more on this, please. Zone. Bring love into the situation. Hmm. Conclusions are within reach. Energies. Wow, somebody is stepping into um, a new love. 
Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> mm. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. Gosh. Okay. This message is really clear. Somebody who's listening right now has been working towards bettering themselves and manifesting a healthy love, a soulmate, a person they are trying to bring in a new and healthy love. In order to do that, the conversation that needs to be had is you're either currently in a relationship that needs to end and it needs to be broken off to make room for the new that the universe is trying to send you, or there's an ex that you've recently broken up with where it's got a little bit of unfinished energy. Maybe there wasn't any closure. Maybe there was, um, there's a conversation that still needs to be had. It needs to be fully released. You might still be holding on to that and it's blocking what's coming in. And I'm telling you from these cards, what's coming in is incredible. I mean, it is stunning. Like, yeah, it's just holy crap. So you have, your soulmate is on the way to you. The, the universe is wanting to send you that person that, that deserves you, that person that's going to care for you and love you and treat you the way you deserve to be loved but you're still holding on to an ex-lover or um, maybe a current lover that that you've known for quite some time that that relationship needed to come to a close so if that resonates with you please know the universe is confirming that all right well that was today's message i hope it resonates with you and i hope you have an absolutely wonderful marvelous day my name is Samantha. Thank you. And turn on your notification bell and look out for Thursday's video. I'm extremely excited about it. And I think you're going to enjoy it too. So have a wonderful day. Bye.